Welcome to this interesting question where we have two quadrants and a circle inside a semicircle with radius 5 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find radius of this circle. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it in two steps. First step we'll find the radius of quadrant and second step we'll find radius of circle. So for timing let's remove this circle. Now here let's assume the radius of quadrant is r cm. From point C, let's drop a perpendicular on AB, and this length CD will be same as R centimeter. Now here the length of AD, so for that this uh, length will be R centimeter, and this length will also be R centimeter. So full length AD, that will be 2R centimeter. Now AB is the diameter, and its length will be 10 centimeter, and DB length, DB will be 10 minus 2R. Now here if we'll assume this semicircle let's complete it down below and make it a circle and we'll extend CD to meet the circle at point E then DE length will also be R and in that circle AB will be chord and CE will also be chord intersecting at point D. So they are applying power of point theorem or intersecting chord theorem we will get AD times DB. AD times DB is 2R times 10 minus 2R is CD times DE. CD is R and DE that will also be R. So this is equals to R times R. So LHS opening up the bracket will get 20R minus 4R square is R square. So taking minus 4R square on the other side so 20R is 5R square. Here R will get cancelled down and will get R as 4 centimeter. So here this R is 4 centimeter. Now let's bring back our circle whose radius we have to find and let's move back to the original figure and remove this data. Now that we have got the radius of quadrant as 4 cm, let's find the radius of this circle. So in a general approach when circles are involved touching each other then we have to use the fact that two circles when touching each other then their centers and point of contact they lie in a straight line. Here purple and brown circle are also touching so their centers O, P, and the point of contact will lie in a straight line. Now here this length is radius so it's R and OP that will be radius of this semicircle minus R or 5 minus R. Now from point P let's drop a perpendicular on QE. Now here if you'll see the length QP that's the radius of quadrant plus radius of circle so that will be 4 plus R and here the length DE that will be same as length PC or R centimeter and full length QE that is 4 so QD length that will be 4 minus R. Now here if we we'll assume OC length as X centimeter then EO length that will be 1 centimeter and DP length DP will be same as EC or X plus 1. So now we here we have got two right angle triangles are there and their side lengths are in two variable r and x. So we'll have to just form the equations using Pythagoras theorem and solve it to get value of r. So from this pink triangle we are getting r square plus x square is 5 minus r square and here if we'll open this 5 minus r square we'll get 5 square plus r square minus 10 r. Both the side r square will get cancelled down. So here we are getting our first relation that is x square is 25 minus 10 r. Now let's make equation from this second triangle. So we have got side length squares that's equals to hypotenuse square. Now here applying a minus b whole square so we'll get this relation and right side also let's open bracket applying a plus b whole square. Now both the sides 4 square will get cancelled down and r square will get cancelled down. So from here we are getting our second relation between x and r that is x plus 1 square is 16 r. Now to solve this to get value of r let's subtract from the second equation let's subtract the first equation. So here we'll get x plus 1 square minus x square that will be 16 r minus 25 minus 10 r. Simplifying it LHS when we open the bracket x square will get cancelled down and we'll get 2x plus 1. And here in RHS simplifying it we'll get it as 26R minus 25. 
Now this plus 1 will go on the other side, it will become minus 26 and dividing by 2 will get x is equal to 13 or minus 13. Now this value of x we can put in this first equation. So let's write this first equation again and here we'll replace x with 13 or minus 13. Now both the side r square will get cancelled down. Now opening up the bracket here, so we'll get this particular relation. Now taking all the terms on the left side, we'll get a quadratic in terms of r. Now solving this quadratic by using quadratic formula, we'll get value of r as 164 plus 16 root 10 upon 169. Simplifying it, we'll get value of r as 1.27 centimeter. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye bye.